The flanker is one of those classes that has various ways to be efficient against enemies. You could be using the stock shotgun since it's very consistent with its damage and overall being very balanced compared to all other primaries. Or use the Leparo DB to catch players off guard and push them back to which direction you want to do its ridiculous knockback. And also use it as a mobility tool. Or use the shortstop because you're an asshole. This also counts for his secondaries as well, like the conventional, the shuriken, the witch's br Okay, maybe not that one. So many ways to be a very powerful opponent to the enemy team. But recently I've noticed that Rolf is trying to take an already existing weapon in the game and make a flanker version of it. For example, the old Mew Mauler was the Einsteinium, the Specialist is the Family Business, the Grill Scout is the 5000 Degree Axe and Fire Extinguisher combined, the Handyman is the Home Wrecker, the Super Sneakers is probably the flanker version of the Man Treads, but you get my point. They're trying to make recreations of already existing weapons for the flanker, but with a few changes so it's not overpowered. But if there's one weapon that gotta add it at the same time with its flanker version is the Krankenstein, the only shotgun that looks pissed. As a primary for the mechanic and a secondary for the trooper, brute, and arsonist, the Krankenstein is basically a recreation of TF2's old panic attack. If the Krankenstein starts with zero shots, then by holding M1 it loads a total of 4 shots and when you release it, it fires all of them at once. Not only that, but the deploy speed of the Krankenstein is 50% faster than all the other shotguns. But my favorite parts of this weapon are two stats. The firing speed increases as much as your health decreases, and that the spread increases as much as your health decreases. These two stats honestly make the Krankenstein very well balanced. In my opinion, this is one hell of a good weapon, and it's honestly pretty underrated. But enough of that. Let's talk about the Krankenstein's little brother, the shotgun cannon. This weapon, compared to the Krankenstein, loads up to 3 shots, it fires 25% faster, and has a 10% damage penalty. The shotgun cannon is really powerful, but it's, uh, but it's unfortunately being looked down upon compared to all other shotguns. And most say that it's pretty bad and that it's too situational. And after using it for like just just quite a while, I'm going to show you why this weapon isn't as bad as you think it is. So, how does one use the shotgun cannon? Well, the shotgun cannon it's kind of a hit or miss weapon. You either hit all your shots and say you're the best flanker in main in existence, or miss all your shots and die like a total idiot. Compared to the other flanker primaries, the shotgun cannon gives you a certain playstyle which is picking your fights. Take a look at this clip. I already loaded my shots and see this mechanic and boom, he's gone. Then I back off to reload and I go back in, see the flanker and boom, he's dead. I back off again to reload, see the arsonist and I miss all my shots because my melee and boom, he's dead. The shotgun cannon wants you to attack one enemy at a time and it's honestly pretty effective. But here's the catch. To use the shotgun cannon, you have to aim. Aiming with this is harder than you expect, and this weapon punishes you hard if you miss, unless you're a god with movement, but we'll get to that later. For now, know that you always need your shotgun to be loaded and release it once you know you're going to get the enemy. Let's talk about what secondaries and melees can help out the shotgun cannon to be a little bit more effective. Honestly, for secondaries, there isn't that big of a choice here. You could use the pistols, but remember, you can't switch off your primary when it's fully loaded. And even when you get to use the pistols, they could already be running away from you and get a health kit or even try to kill you, which they most likely will. Same thing with the shuriken. Using the witch's brew is already a sin normally, and the bloxy cola could possibly be viable with the shotgun cannon since you can load in your shots within the effect, but it honestly feels like a crutch and you're very vulnerable to knockback. Now you might be thinking, Damn, there's no way that our flank or secondaries can't deal with the shotgun cannon. There must be something that works with it, right? <laughs> oh, my friend, I left the best for last. The secondary that in my opinion helps out the most while using the shotgun cannon is the Super Sneakers. With its 250% more air control and higher jumps really helps you in moments when you have to reload because you either miss all your shots and want to try again while dodging projectiles or you didn't kill the enemy even if you hit all of your shots, which can happen most of the time when you're against the brute. And with the Super Sneakers, you can actually try to go around enemies while reloading, but trust me, it's better if you back off instead, because while it can be very satisfying and quite viable, don't try it. 
It could possibly get you killed if your enemy knows where you're going. As for melees, it's really up to preference. The only two melees I wouldn't recommend using are the Sandman and the Rap Assassin, but for the rest of them, they are all a good choice. I personally use the Brooklyn Basher since if you didn't kill your enemy, you can make him bleed while running away and reloading. And sometimes this can actually grant you kills. That's about it, honestly. The shotgun cannon is really underrated, and it's sad that people let it down because it isn't the lever shotgun. But here's the thing I'll ask. Please give the shotgun cannon a chance. Use its true potential and try to appreciate people using it. Because after all, it's not always about which shotgun is the best. It's all about the Mets, baby. Here we go. We love the Mets. Let's go, Mets.